Hey beautiful people, welcome or welcome back. I'm Josie with Awakened Soul. If you're new here, we're here to get some messages and information about the person on your mind. Whoever came to mind first when this video found you and you had a calling to click on it, I'm gonna get started by pulling their current thoughts and feelings about you and your connection. Then we're gonna hop over to channeled messages, maybe some oracle cards to get more information out. So let's get started. I'm gonna get their thoughts and feelings going. What is this person thinking and feeling towards the viewer right now, please? That one and that one. Interesting. So we have the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands coming out. That is Libra and Leo energy. That could be their big three, your big three, or an important like date or timeline in this connection. Let's get out a couple more though. What else is this person thinking and feeling towards the viewer right now, please? What's going on in their head and their heart? Chat with me a little bit, please. There we go. We also have the Knight of Cups. That is Pisces energy. Ah, <laughs> hold on a second. That was way too many, you guys. This person is trying to gain the confidence. They're, what I'm seeing right now is they're trying to grow their confidence to actually make some type of an approach towards you. They are determined to make this happen. We have the Seven of Wands coming out here, but they're unsure of what to do about it. So I'm getting the feeling that this is probably somebody you're in separation with at this time that wants to come back into your life, basically, romantically. They wanna reconcile with you romantically and enter into a new relationship with you because this person's up at night. They're feeling very anxious and indecisive. They want to come towards you with some kind of offer, but they just don't know what to do about it. So maybe it's been a while since the two of you have talked to each other. Could be that maybe you ended things on bad terms and they know it and they don't know what to do about that. It could even be that they were the ones that walked away from you. They walked away from you and that's why they feel so torn because they... They kind of changed their mind after they walked away, but they feel like maybe now you're not going to receive them so well. Let's get out some info on their intentions. That's kind of what I want to do next. What is this person actually going to end up doing though? Because just because they're thinking about taking this action doesn't mean they're actually going to. It seems like they're a little indecisive, so I want to get out any concrete plans they have or if they have any set intentions towards you. What are this person's intentions, please? But yeah, they might not have anything set in stone yet. There we go. The Six of Cups. They're not quite sure of how they're going to make this happen, but they're going to, basically. They want to reunite with you and reconcile. They're not quite sure of how to make that happen, but they do have their mind set on you and reconciling in this connection. So they're going to try whatever they can to make this happen. Let's see, what was that? The Nine of Pentacles. So they might just show up at your house. That's one message that's coming through. This was too many, so I'm gonna put those back. They might just show up at your house one day. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. They might just show up or send like flowers to your home or something like that. They may even be thinking about a present they can give you. It's gonna be unexpected. You don't see this coming. I feel like they're either gonna just show up out of the blue, out of nowhere, or they're gonna give you a call out of nowhere, out of the blue, and it's going to be impulsive. So even they don't have any like concrete plans of how they're gonna do this yet. I feel like it's just kind of creeping up on them. They've been thinking about it for a while. They're feeling indecisive. They don't know where the two of you stand. So it's almost just like out of nowhere, they're gonna make a split decision and they're just gonna call you or they're just gonna drive to your house and bring you some flowers or something like that. So I don't think you or they see this coming. It's just gonna kind of happen out of nowhere impulsively. Let's get out a few channeled messages from them now to see what they'd have to say to you if they felt like they could be totally open and honest right now. Okay. They have a lot to say to you. Neglected. I failed to give you what you need. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this person feels guilty. They're taking credit where they feel like they need to. They feel like they're at fault for part of this and they, they're they willing to like fess up to that basically. Reminiscing, I miss our inside jokes. Yeah, we have the Six of Cups. That can be kind of nostalgic in a way. I feel like this person longs for you. They want to come back in. They want to talk to you. They want to come back in and make it right. Unfinished business. We still have things to resolve and discuss. Take a look at that. Yeah. Yeah, this person's coming back in. 
they don't quite know how they're going to make it happen just yet, but they're going to. They're determined. It's just a matter of if and when. And I feel like one day they're just going to wake up. They're going to just like at the drop of a hat, snap their fingers and pick up that phone and call you. They're not going to think twice. It's going to be really impulsive and it's going to come out of nowhere. Neither one of you see this coming. So um, anyway, I feel like enough said there. If you're ever looking for a more in-depth reading, I have a pick a card reading playlist and a pop-up reading playlist on my channel. Those are a lot longer. This is meant to be just a real quick look. Um, so you can head over there when this video is done, check it out, scroll through, see if any of those call out to you if you want a more in-depth look. What I'm gonna do now is get you out a few messages, whatever you need to hear the most at this time. Could relate to this connection or not. I like to leave this portion open. And if you've been enjoying it, if you watch my videos on a regular basis and you haven't gotten the chance to subscribe or like this video yet, here is your reminder to do so. Let's get out a couple. You know what, we're gonna just do that one and then I'm gonna get you out a few affirmations. Well, that's what we're gonna do. You got positive change. Dare to be different. When you are criticized, remember that you will never please everyone. Many brilliant and gifted individuals were not fully appreciated or understood in their lifetime, yet it is often they who have sown the seeds of change. Very beautiful. I don't know if you're going to be able to read that. We'll see if it focuses. <laughs> Leave that there. Let's get you out a few affirmations. Now, I always encourage you, if you want to claim this energy with these affirmations, to speak at them out loud, write them down. You can also comment them down below to claim the energy. Today I am flexible. Today I will adapt to changes in my life with an open mind and a positive outlook. Hold it up for you. And then you also got, today I am happy. Today happiness and love will fill my heart and soul all day. Beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and leave this reading here. Thank you all so much for joining. I hope to see you for a future video. Keep shining bright. Bye for now.